Mayhem and madness. Playwright Louis Nara draws us into a world where the mad seem sane and the sane seem mad in his farcical play Cosy. Through the use of stage directions, foreshadowing and symbolism, Nara tackles the problems associated with defining an individual as mad. Let's look at the mayhem. Preconceived ideas about madness and those deemed to be sane are challenged by Nara in the very first scene of the play. The ideas of mounting a production of the opera Cosi Fan Tutti with a cast of mental patients seems itself mad, with Nara immediately alluding to the possible disasters of working with people who have been rejected by society. Nara foreshadows possible complications when Justin warns Lewis to keep a close eye on Doug, creating tension. Nara continues this downward spiral to catastrophe with black humour, such as when Doug says, I can't sing a note, and as for Henry, here to get him to speak a word is a miracle. But Nara doesn't dwell on the lunacy and instead reveals the ability of the patients to accomplish something positive. Now the madness. Nara forces responders to recognise the madness of the world outside the theatre. Stage directions constantly remind the audience of the Vietnam War context. Henry takes out a toy soldier and plays with it. This symbolism forces the audience to recognise the madness of modern society outside the institution. Also, Nara successfully reflects the values of modern society through the characterisation of Nick. Only mad people in this day and age would do a work about love and infidelity. They're definitely mad. Through the two-dimensional character of Nick, Nara suggests that attitudes to love are changing, but ultimately he encourages to agree with Lewis, who recognises that without love, the world doesn't mean much anymore. Nara forces responders to question what it means to be normal and consequently what it means to be mad. The outside world is characterised by the chaos and madness of war and society whose relationships are characterised by a devaluing of love. Inside the world of the theatre and the asylum, ordinary people have achieved something extraordinary by supporting each other and helping each other grow.